step onto the moving platform. The platform and your time machine vehicle are moving at equal speed. And look down as you step onto the moving platform. The platform is moving at the same speed as your time machine vehicle. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step on their moving platform. The platform and your time machine vehicle are moving at equal speed. One. How many? This is Spaceship Earth Control, on behalf of Siemens, welcome aboard. In preparation for your journey, we'd like to take your picture. Locate the mirror overhead to the right. Make sure your face is clearly visible, smile, and wait for the flash. Got it. Now we'd like to connect you to your guide. Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, our planet has sailed through the universe of time. But where are we going? And what kind of future will we discover there? Surprisingly, the answers lie in our past. Since the dawn of recorded history, we've been inventing the future one step at a time. So let's travel back in time together. I'll show you how our ancestors created the world we know today. And then it will be your turn to create the world of tomorrow. change the future forever. This unknown Egyptian pounding reeds flat is inventing papyrus, a sort of paper. Papyrus in turn creates better record keeping of plans, designs and unfortunately taxes. But it also brings with it the dawn of great civilizations. At this point, each civilization has its own form of writing, which none of the others can understand. But the Phoenicians, who trade with all of them, have a solution. They create a simple common alphabet, adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. Greeks were great inventors of the future. First, they established public schools. 
and then begin teaching an intriguing new subject called mathematics. And with math comes mechanical technology and the birth of the high-tech life we enjoy today. With lessons learned from the Greeks, the Romans create a powerful empire. To move their armies around, they build a system of roads all over the known world. Rome built the first World Wide Web, and it's leading us into the future. But then we hit a roadblock. Rome falls and the great library of Alexandria in Egypt is burned. Much of our learning is destroyed, lost forever. Or so we think. It turns out there are copies of these books in the libraries of the Middle East, being watched over by Arab and Jewish scholars. Call it the first backup system. The books are saved, and with them our dreams of the future. In the meantime, here in Europe, monks toil endlessly recording books by hand. But that is about to change. In 1450, Gutenberg invents the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books, and travel they do. Books make it easier to invent the future in every field. And the result is an incredible explosion of innovation we call the Renaissance. Communication technology races headlong into the future. And soon people all over the world are sharing life's most important moments faster than ever before. By now, we're all communicating from anywhere on Earth, and in 1969, from somewhere else. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. To send a man to the moon, we had to invent a new language, spoken not by man, but by computers. At first, very large, very expensive computers, but we see the potential. What if everyone could have one of these amazing machines in their own house? There's just one problem. They're as big as a house. The solution comes in 1977 in, of all places, a garage in California. Young people with a passion for shaping the future put the power of a computer in everyone's hands. And once again, we stand on the brink of a new renaissance.
After 30,000 years of time travel, here we are. A truly global community, networked, online, poised to shape the future of Spaceship Earth. For the first time in history, all of us can have a say about the kind of world we want to live in. In preparation for your return to Earth, the time machine is now rotating backwards. The choices we have made for the past 30,000 years have been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, it's your turn. On your computer screen, answer a few questions for us. Then we'll add in a little future technology and show you a new world, custom made, just for you. Are you ready to create the future? Let's get started. creating your future, let's see how much you remember about the past. And now I believe your future is just about ready. Let's take a look, shall we? Here in your future, it'll be more fun than ever to enjoy nature in the great outdoors. But even in a perfect world, accidents do happen. Don't worry. With instant communication and global tracking, a helping hand is never far away. Fortunately, your entire medical history is with you at all times on a smart card. Your first aid might require nanotechnology, tiny sensors that assess the injury from the inside and report to your doctor. And while you relax at home with hot chocolate, technology speeds recovery time. In no time at all, you're back on your feet. Uh-oh. Fortunately, in the future, help is never far away. Well, I think the future we've created looks very promising, don't you? So here's to the next 30,000 years on Spaceship Earth. While no one knows for sure what we'll see or do, I do know it will be quite an adventure. An adventure that we'll take and make together. See you in the future. Welcome back, time travelers. Thank you for joining us today on Spaceship Earth. Now Siemens invites you to visit Project Tomorrow, an exciting world of new ideas and innovations made possible by Siemens Ingenuity. Your vehicle doors will open automatically. Please keep your hands away from the doors and step carefully onto the moving platform. 